Good afternoon there. It would be morning. I actually woke up at like 8 and stayed up for like half hour and then went back to sleep until 11. <laughs> I did mean to get up early, but whoops. <laughs> It's nice and slightly chilly today. Um, where was this like in December and January? It's like winter was like, what, what, what? Oh crap, I overslept. Quick, cold everywhere, cold, cold, cold. <laughs> So before I get any homework done, I am finishing watching The Boondock Saints. P.S. Willem Dafoe makes a beautiful woman. <laughs> Oopsie. By the way, okay, since I'm here, this shot is so freaking beautiful. One of my favorite scenes. Well, okay, the whole movie is like my favorite scene. I don't think there's... A movie as beautiful as this movie honestly oh god it's so good um anyway I'm finishing up watching this movie and um, then I'm gonna do some reading and homework and stuff it's a little bit windy so um, anyway my friend Kenny who is in a couple of my classes he's the one who reminded me to watch history boys last night and he there's some weird creaking going on with those trees um, Anyway, he told me that he had seen the DVD for three dollars in Big Lots up the road over here and uh, since I watched it and enjoyed it so much I was thinking I'd just go over and see if there's like special features and uh, if there are even if there's just a commentary or something I'm totally gonna get it and then I also need some lip balm so I figured why not just take a trip so uh, that's where I'm going now just a five minute walk. So I found the lip balms. But they're all like Mountain Dew, Pepsi, like what nerds? I kind of really want to get this. It's a lightsaber stick. Or not lipstick, chapstick. Found it. So that makes me happy. At first I was looking at like a different rack of movies and I couldn't find it. I was about to call Kenny a liar. But then I found it. Uh, there is there's an audio commentary and there's a feature two featurettes so definitely worth it three dollars come on how can you beat that so I bought this and this is infinitely better than the other tube that I have which is this Listex I don't know this one I think my mom used to have like a little squeezy tube of this and I used to love the taste of this I like the smell taste <clears throat> when you put it on your lips, that combined scents. So that made me happy that I found that. I thought the blue one was gonna be like minty flavor or something, but it's not. It's just nasty flavored. Um, so I'm waiting for my phone to charge to close to 100, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. I was gonna just do weights, but I mean I might as well go on the elliptical for a half hour. Grr. I was just about to go to the gym. Two guys walked out and they're like, "It's closed," and I was like, "Crap." So, I'll just do Zumba and something else. I don't know. Whew, I think my body is starting to realize that I'm serious about this again because the past few times that I've done Zumba in my room, I've only done about half an hour. I didn't, I made sure to do an hour today, even though like I had to take a break because like I was dying in the middle of it, but I did about an hour of exercise. And it feels good. I mean, I feel tired, but I know I'm gonna feel good tomorrow. Oh, well now I see. Um, Saturday the gym is open 9 a.m. to 5 and I was there at like 4 59 crap I thought it closed at 6 but on Sundays it's only open from 1 to 5 in the afternoon which kind of sucks because that doesn't motivate me to get up early at all tomorrow <laughs> just have to show you this I went to take the sh my shower obviously I did but in a unique way because I come in here and then I see no shower curtain and none of her stuff. So, I'm pretty sure I just scared away the second sweet mate. <laughs> no, she's probably moving to the apartment or a different room because she has a fiance and he lives down the hall. So, I don't know, maybe they're moving in together. 
in the apartments. Who knows? Um, yeah, that was interesting because uh, the other day I had, I thought I had locked myself out of my room, but I actually had my keys. I just didn't feel them. So I went through her room and she was packing stuff up. And I thought it was weird, like, why doesn't she, why hasn't she unpacked all her stuff yet? It's been like a month of school already. But I guess she was packing, leaving, and she just took all of her stuff today and took the shower curtain and stuff. So I have to go back to, go, to um, Big Lots to get shower curtain. Because I'm not using the nasty one that is automatically provided, because it's nasty. <laughs> And this is kind of funny because at the beginning of the semester, I, my mom and I had picked out a shower curtain because because the old one was getting moldy, but then she replaced it. My sweet mate replaced it, so I, we returned that shower curtain. Now I get to go buy another one. <laughs> yep, she's gone. And now I'm heading back to Big Lots to get a shower curtain. Yep. Here we go, yet again. Okay, I've got limited selection here. I do want hooks. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna get that or that. Two. Hmm. Tough choices here. So I looked behind the uh, flowery one and there's the stereotypical ducks or this kind of fancy red or that blue spider DNA stuff. I think I might just get this fancy red. I realized that is fabric polyester and I'd have to buy a liner with it. So choices between this or uh, this isn't too bad. Not, uh, no, animal print allowed. Easy peasy. Got the shower curtain and some crappy plastic rings. So I stopped in uh, CPS just because I was here. Wasn't really looking for anything particular. But I found wide headbands that I had been looking for for my dreads. So I bought them because I knew if I didn't, I'd never be able to find them again because that's how stuff works. Um, and I also just picked up um, like half a gallon of orange juice because orange juice is tasty. I just cleaned the bathroom up a bit. Um, put my carpets down, there's a shower curtain I got, then I like I cleaned the counters and stuff, and just to, because I was curious, I was like, does she really move out, and the answer is yes. So, there's a couple things in here, so she'll probably come back to get them, but she's gone. Now I've got two rooms to myself. It's pretty great. I've just started getting back into mechanique. I think that's how you say it. And I'm just completely struck again by how beautiful the language is. Like, there are some passages that shouldn't have any kind of impact on me, but just the wording and the words she uses together, oh, beautiful. It's 11.30 and I'm doing laundry. Yeah, that's how I roll. And I'm also, in between reading Mechanique, I'm watching the commentary for the History Boys. And it's with the writer and director. And they both worked on the play and the movie, which I think is so super cool. And that all, just all the main cast was the cast from the play version. So, it's pretty cool. And uh, so I'm like reading a little bit of this and then watching a little bit of that and going back and forth. And I just put my clothes in the wash. <laughs> well, I just got my laundry. And now I'm going to head to bed. Good night.